I'm kind of an idiot. Look at the size of these lasers. If I were to have the lasers in Space Engineers be this size, the ship would be a fraction of the size it is. I'm an idiot. Well, and it's not even the right length. This thing's only 500 meters long. The other one, I've gotten to here. I still have all that. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Oh, well, I might as well finish it up. <coughs> Consider it a Super Hulk. Alright, so this is just going to be a video showing me of stuff I need to finish it. Alright, so that attaches right there. And in the back there, however, I think in the back, you can see from the other side. There, that's a great view. That's a great view right there where it attaches to. As for the construction of it, it's a distance away. It's kind of thick, bulges out, bulges in, has this nice angle here, comes down to there, comes to a point in the front, which is not going to be fun. Alright, so then we've got, uh, stop it, I need to find kill a uh, hostile NPC. So the pistons are actually just on, uh, things there, then go in there, okay. You know, I completely forgot about the cogs, but then again, I don't have that anywhere near that. Alright, so this is important. That's not just a little lip that goes all the way up. I did not see that. <clears throat> this is also important. These are separated. They're not direct. There's a gap. This is level, so... There's a bit of a gap there. Good to know. Alright, so that's connected down there. These are connected to each other, but they do not go forward. I might just make them go forward. <coughs> These, however, do go clean back. These other ones go clean back. Just good to know. This goes the length of the ship up to there, which reminds me now. Oh, wait. This is attached to there, so it looks like it goes right from there to there. Let's uh, get a better view of the back here. There we are. All right, yeah, that goes to the back. The back bit there is kind of that there. All right, so I have that go back. Thankfully, that goes all the way back, which is good. On the actual, on the bottom, there's a good view. So that goes over to there. So that I forgot about this as well. Okay. As for this, it uh, is actually uh, it sticks out a little here. That's good. And there, but not really there, or over there too much. Good to know. That's so the back from here. This bulges down to here. Oh, okay. I see how that goes. Okay, that bulges and does all that. These stick out there. And that sticks out there. Oh, what's the length? Well, given the size of that area. And guess that's about one, one and a half the size for the top. Okay, that's how it connects on the far side there. So, yeah. There's the design. The look there, that bulges. As for the back, um. Stop it. Let's see, it, uh, how far back does it go? Right, so that's the end there. 
Alright, so from the end of here it goes that far and then there, alright. The bottom it looks like that. Alright. It's the back I'm interested in right now. Alright. And got uh, remember this flattens right here. I could have a hanger there, but it flattens here. Hmm. <coughs> okay, this is so thick. The one alright, so these are thick. However, it has a uh, interesting shape that goes to that little point there. Good to know. That oh, that turns down to attach to there. This is in this continuous shape. Okay. Oh, but it sticks down. The center line of the ship is around here, not down here. So the engines are actually below center line. Good to know. No, no, wait, no, they're not. There's ships bending, pointing over to some. Good to know. This ship is highly maneuverable. And it's so big, you don't care. Got the front right at least. The fires shoot out of ways. I don't know how I'm gonna do those. There's two Astro House in the system. That's awesome. Alright. Well, those do pop up a little. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the biggest problem is going to be this. However, I think that that appears to go only about halfway up, not all the way up. It goes only about halfway up. Good to know. Okay. All right. That's how it's going to be. Right. So been making some progress. Uh, one thing I've done is added a couple of buttons and some doors here so you can get in and out of the ship with a panel on each side. As you can see I've added in a way of slowing down the ship once it gets moving. Uh, that one engine there and one engine on the other side is not going to be very effective at something this heavy. I've added in this on the side, uh, not perfect, but then again, it's Space Engineers, not to leave online, so it can't be perfect. However, I have added this as well. And I've colored this because I don't want to go back in later. Don't know what it is, except for being looking there, good uh, thing, yeah. There's the other one of these is supposed to be attached around here, of course, I haven't done that yet. Uh, this is supposed to continue on. Uh, inside it's not. However, I've also added, besides a lot more gyroscopes, I've doubled up on the number of gyroscopes almost. There's over 1,700, I think. I've also added in primary and secondary reactor area. This is the secondary reactor, which I might move back to the middle one instead of the front and have this be the drone production facility, like somebody was mentioning. I was considering having drones in here, or maybe the production in here, and then storage here around this reactor. If I remove these uh, support pillars, then I can keep the reactor here. This is the secondary reactor. That is uh, 24 wedge reactors on just by the main bridge. All right, but this is the secondary one. This is 64. Of those reactors okay 64 more oh by the way is actually they're not empty in case you can't tell there are a series of oh, that's interesting thank you there's a, there we there's a series of effectiveness and power modules on those why because I thought so, they would be nice I don't know if they're working but uh, yeah at least they're there so, there are power and effectiveness modules by the reactors. 
I have extended it out and added in all of this on the top here. Uh, you can see the main reactor through here. That's fine. Not. I gotta find some way of plugging this hole so it could be sealed. Um, other than that, all I've done is turn the ship around because I want to work on the back. These engines are placeholders. All right, and I need to add a lot more engines. Now, here's something that I need to show you. This is going to be placeholder because I just am using going to use this to show something, and it'll. I might have the other bridge back here because you can actually see the ship, which is nice. One thousand seven hundred fifty-eight gyroscopes, nineteen point eight gigawatts of power and it weighs well over 40 million kilograms and look what I still have to do and it's mostly empty on the inside it also barely moves at all Trying to turn this thing around is not easy. So you're literally going to have to have a significant amount more gyros. In case you're wondering, this over here, I've redone my calculations. And this appears to be the size of the ship going from here to the other side compared to the actual size of the turret or maybe just a little bit longer but this is close to the actual size of the ship I kid you not I'm pretty sure this is the actual width of the main body of the ship which is that right there which means that those would stick out a little bit more and the height would only be about there maybe maybe a little more but that the uh big jets that shoot out are going to be around here in height. This is going to be one of those big jets. Yeah, that's way smaller because the whole thing, the whole length of that would be from like one of those lasers to the other laser, you know, like middle to back or front to middle or whatever. That would be the entire length of the Hulk. And, you know, the thing is, when the screenshot I was using the screenshot I was using was a screenshot I was using, but that screenshot was a while ago before they rebalanced it. So I'm keeping this. I'm going to throw this in and to show you. I'm keeping this, and I'm going to finish this. Uh, this, uh, yeah, I don't know. But yes, um, I've got a lot of work to go. My next task is uh, pulling this up. And you find uh, what size will work. I'm thinking the two, if not the three. I'm not sure. It'll be. It'll either be that, that. Or that. I'm not sure. I'm thinking the two, possibly. Not definitely not the three. That looks a little big, but maybe the one. Maybe the two or the one. Not the three. I don't know. But that goes out a ways and then jumps up. But I need to get that to the appropriate level before I can decide where the back of the ship's actually gonna be, and thus can work on the engines. As for this, um, This is supposed to be where the uh, next one of these things is, which there's the one in the front over there. So yeah, I got a lot more work to do. And yes, I did just learn that you can actually use the uh, free cam here to move around and build your ship. I just learned that in the middle of this video. I am such a crap when it comes to this game. Oh well. Uh, at any rate. But this is going to make it a whole lot easier to build my ships. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Anyway, I got to plug this hole. So, placeholder.
Sorry. I know it's butt ugly now. Mm -hmm. Then again, I can fix that a little bit. Hey, it's better than what it was. And it doesn't plug the hole. But I have to have that hole in order to have the other reactors. I'd rather have the reactors. You saying 20 gigawatts is not enough? No. 20 gigawatts is not enough. Not for this ship. Uh, there it is. Yeah, 19.8 gigs. <laughs> Look at the mass. Look at the mass. That is not enough for this ship. Um, okay. I don't know what that is. I don't want to. Also, what isn't enough is the amount of gyros. Now, somebody had said he's going to add in his own gyros later on. That's fine. What I need to do is add in what you have for the bare necessities and leave a lot of open room. So I have this open room here, but I have to make sure to add in the capability of the ship. I need to add in something to here, probably storage. This just might all be storage. And I need to add in a drone hold up front and finish the actual ship. I need to make this ship functional in case you do not want to modify the ship. That's what it is. It's not even looking at that. Okay. So in case you don't want to modify the ship, I have to make it functional. And I can't do that unless it's good. So, Master Chief says, take care. <laughs> Careful. 